What I got in this box is, is pretty, pretty freaking awesome. I thought it was gonna take longer to get here. I ordered it a while ago. It's still been a little while, but I ordered it a while ago and it came in a little sooner than I was even anticipating or expecting. But let me turn this camera up. It looks a little, you guys are a little low there. <laughs> All right, there we go. I don't have to bend over to get the print, you know what I mean? But yeah, so I got this, ordered it, came in sooner than I thought. This is something I've had a problem with my car for a while now. Uh, one of the, um, um, I don't even know if I should tell you guys yet. Should I tell you guys? Should we open it? All right, I, I, let's just open it. Let, I'll be right back. Let me get all my stuff. We're gonna open it back boy. And then, when you guys know what it is, then I can continue on with that story. We're gonna open this bad boy up, see what the heck's in here. Okay, anyway, sorry, I had to cut my address out of there. Uh, so, you guys can't tell by this, I know it's sideways, some of you may know. This is from the drive shaft shop. And right here, right here, it says Mustang Cobra, 600 horsepower axles. So today we're unboxing the 600 horsepower axles from the drive shaft shop. Now I'm really stoked to get these on because my car currently had a boot that failed, um, spit grease everywhere. I tried repairing it. I bought a two piece boot and tried fixing it. And you know, it, it's two halves. So you cut your old one off. And this one you can slide on the axle or you know, put a piece on and then you use some sort of adhesive that melts the rubber together. You put it in one side, put the boot together, let it sit and seal and then you pack it full of grease and slide it back over and zip tie it. Well, I did that and the, the zip tie itself just failed. So it threw all the grease out all over again, round two, all over my brake and wheel and everything. So now we're back at it. We're gonna put these guys on because I'm tired of dealing with that. Plus those axles are only good for about 400 or so, and eh, maybe 500 wheel horsepower. Put it on limiter and put a good tire on it and launch it the track, it would probably snap those axles in a heartbeat. So these guys right here are gonna solve that problem. We're gonna be able to then get another mod, maybe some wheels and tires, and get this car to go really, really fast and let it leave pretty nasty. So I'm excited for that, guys. I'm really, really excited. But let's get into opening this bad boy box right here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm excited about it. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Oh, 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 guys. You gotta see this. You guys gotta see this. Come here. Come here, you guys gotta see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, what's in here, guys? Oh, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. These are the these are the tubes with the grease in them. It's supposed to come with boots as well. So let's see. Oh, it does. Look at guys. Looky, looky. Ooh. Ooh. Let me set you guys down. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. These come out one by one. Okay, we can open them. Would you guys look at that? Would you look at that? Check that out, guys. That is freaking sweet. So these, if you see on this end, there's nothing on it but just a boot. Nothing but a boot. And the reason for that is, this side on these bad boys is gonna be reusing the stock innards. So, what does that mean? Well, that means I gotta just take off my stock axles, take this inner part that comes right off the differential, and I'm gonna reuse it on here which luckily I think those are pretty easy. There's just, you pull the boot back, there's a, a clip ring or a C ring in there we're gonna unclip and then that'll allow us to just slide it out and there's gonna be three little shafts sticking out with little donut type bearings on them. So if I remember correctly, I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me. We'll obviously see when I get there, but man, these are pretty. And these outers 
are the ones that break. So these are, I believe, a Porsche style is what they call it, um, or design, I should say. So these are gonna be pretty freaking awesome. I'm really, really excited to get these on. Like I said, this boot on my car on the outer is split and it's flinging grease all over the wheel and the brake, so yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Plus then dirt gets in there because you know all the dirt wants to stick to the grease. So we got this. We're gonna get her all fixed up, guys. She's gonna, oh, that's nice and stiff and smooth. Ooh, look at that nut. All righty. Let me get them both out. We'll get them both on the table and we can have a little quick pixie looky looky loo. Oh. Whoa. That's it, guys. You can see nothing in the box. Nothing here. No. Get out of here. Get, get out of here, knock my little EO tube over. Oh yeah guys, this is gonna be freaking sweet. So this is what comes in the kit. If you guys buy the 600 horsepower, 600 horsepower axle set where you reuse your innards, it is on their website, I believe $1,100 plus shipping. This is what it comes with. You got your, we'll go down the list starting with, comes with a new axle nut, which is nice. Um, obviously because it comes with these, I don't know if the thread pitch stays the same or changes. We'll figure that out when the time comes. I'll show you guys whether or not the thread pitch changes or stays the same. Going next on the list is the um, CV joint or the Porsche design style, whatever you want to call it, uh, CV. Um, looks good nice quality it's got a nice number on it like looks like laser etching which is kind of cool um back to the boot good boot really really like the boot i'm really excited about the boots being nice and high quality and not having to worry about them and then next after that's the shaft and these shafts are like nice pretty solid they seem pretty strong maybe not quite the greatest but uh i mean they are 600 only horsepower rated i think what changes on the next ones is probably this shaft because this is 600, the next is 900 horsepower. So the difference between the six and the nine, maybe these change, I'm not sure. It could be the shaft itself because this shaft just isn't like really, really big or, you know, it doesn't stand out like it's really high quality and it's gonna take, you know, a ton of beating, but we'll see. These guys are freaking beautiful though. I'm so freaking excited to get them on. These boots feel really nice. Feel like they're good quality, thick, which is uh, yet flexible. Because you need them to be obviously flexible because there's a lot of movement in IRS suspension travel wise. So, heck yeah guys. I am absolutely thrilled about these. I cannot wait to install them. It is going to be amazing. Uh, and I'm going to get that video out for you guys. That is going to be probably, I think, the next video, maybe. But, uh, man, we're going to have some fun. This is going to be cool. Um, and then I won't be so worried about my axles. Because right now, with the, the boot being torn, it drives me nuts. Because I know it shouldn't be that way. And when things aren't right, it bugs the crap out of me. I've just always been that way. Like, if something breaks on my car and it goes down where it's not running, I will do anything and everything to get that thing running again because I cannot stand a non-running vehicle. It drives me insane um, when it's my personal vehicle. I cannot stand my vehicles not running, so we're going to get these bad boys installed. And I really like these clips that they came with. The uh, clips, I should say, retainers or they're basically like a metal, um, kind of like a metal zip tie, but they're the factory style where this part of it, if the camera will focus, this part right here will... You have pliers that go in and it'll physically crimp it and shrink it. So you go and you, you pull it around and get this guy nice and snug in here where these guys line up and they hook. You'll get them to see how they, they undid, undid it, it themselves. But anyways, these are just nice clamps. I like them. I like their style. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. All right, guys. Well, if this thing will focus on me. All right, guys, I want you to stay tuned for the next video. The next video is going to be probably of me installing these. So let's get to it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, tag that bell notification so you'll get my new uh, videos. Just like and subscribe, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day.